name is Matthew Barr. I'm a senior lecturer at the Open University. I run the Planetary Environments Research Group. And what we do is we look at the landscapes of different planets, Mars, Venus, and the Earth. And we try to understand how they evolve and their history. This picture shows a debris flow from Iceland that happened a few years ago. And at the top of the picture, you can see there's a sort of little arc shape of dark material, and that's a slump. All of that material that was there has slumped down slopes. And it turns out that it was actually full of ice. And that ice melted, which triggered a debris flow. Fortunately, this event happened a long way from people and habitation. But there are similar looking areas that haven't had landslides yet, that are above areas with lots of people and infrastructure. So this is what we're going to be doing in our next project, is to go and investigate these in more detail. Well, I've been doing this for about 15 years. Um, I did my PhD a couple of years before that. I started off on Venus. Um, then I moved to Mars, and that's really what I wanted to do, because Mars is such an exciting planet. It's got the same range of processes and sort of types of environment that you see on Earth, but it's totally alien. And the really cool thing about Mars is you can imagine us going there. This image gives an example of the sort of work we can do on Mars now. On the right is an actual Mars image from NASA's high-rise camera, and this is a really high-resolution camera. It gives colour as well. But the cool thing is we can turn that into very high resolution topographic models and then we can do our modelling wizardry to, to help understand how that landscape evolved. On the left is what we call the wetness index. This is a, a simple model that shows where water would have been if water was flowing over this landscape. And from that we're able to move on and say whether this landscape was created by wet processes or dry processes, for example just rocks and dust falling down the slope, or by moist processes. Moist processes are things like mud flows or debris flows, but also there's another hint because Mars is full of CO2, which when it freezes to the surface makes dry ice, you know, sort of solid CO2. And when this re-sublimes, you know, when it goes back into being a gas, it can affect the surface and cause material to slip down, you know, slopes. So this experiment here is to simulate that. It's a little sandy bed and we put dry ice into it and then we let it warm up and observe with several cameras looking in 3D again to see how the change in volume and the change in slopes occur. And hopefully we'll be able to scale that up to, to real Mars. It's Mars, I mean, you know, we're going to go to Mars at some point. So the work I do, at some point a future geologist is going to stand there and read my papers and say, he was wrong. Or, what a clever guy, that's amazing. And I really, I really like that because it's, um, you feel like you're doing something for the future, which at the same time is really exciting.